everyone welcome to Patty's Polish Corner and today is the weekly youtubers nail art stamping collab <laughs> I think I got it all in there but anyways it's the weekly thing <laughs> we're all get together and we do a collab um this week's collab is gradient stamping so that's pretty cool it doesn't have like a you know it's got a more like um a tuck you know, a technique theme. So that's pretty cool. So, um, so let's get started. <laughs> um, I'll show you all the ladies. Um, I'll show you the collab picture and then everybody's picture that joined in the collab, followed up with mine. The links will be in the description box below to their YouTube videos and the links for their Instagram will be also in the description box below so you can go and check out their videos and our Instagram pictures. Um, if the link isn't down in there, it's just because I don't have it yet. It will eventually get down in there. So if you don't see it, just check back. And so let's get started. For this video, I'll be using Wave Gel's Clean Slate, No Wipe Top Coat, and the Base Coat, and I do have a 10% off in the description box below. Color Alike Stamping Polishes, which I love, love, love. This Bundle Monster Stamping Plate, Bundle Monster Stamper and Scraper, and these little nail gems coat and two coats of clean slate on and I removed the tacky top layer. I found my big jar of latex so this is what I use as a barrier around my nails when I'm going to stamp. I just put it into an empty polish bottle. So now I'm just going to add a generous amount of liquid latex around my fingers. Just lay the polishes out in a gradient. Make sure that one color isn't on the other color before you put your brush back in there. Scrape it. It up with the stamper perfect pickup I really really like this stamping polish this is just really nice okay, and we'll do that again just going with a little thin strip down the middle the green has to be up a little bit closer to the pink as close as possible just make sure you don't have any on your brush when you dip it back in and the blue can be up here because it'll when I scrape it down it'll go right into the spots that are open. Perfect pickup. Okay, and that looks great. So now I'm doing my pinky. So I have to make sure that the lines are even thinner. I think he's really small. <laughs> Got some other brush, there we go. Okay, 
One more. Go. Okay, now I'm going to remove the latex. I have a little cleanup to do. Now I'm going to stick these three little gems on the ring finger. First, I'm going to lay down some shiny No Clean Top Coat. Any top coat will do. I like the No Clean one, then I don't have to mess with getting the tacky layer off. Then I'm just going to pick up the gems and put them in the order of the gradient. And I'm just using this wooden cuticle stick. Just kind of lick the top of it. <laughs> and the gems kind of stick right to it. Oh, I like how that looks. And then the other nails are completely dry by now. So I'm just going to float a nice generous layer of top coat over the design to seal it in, give it a beautiful shine. So I'm gonna do that to the rest of my nails and then we'll come out and take a look at the finished look. I really like how the finished look came out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe and go check out the other ladies gradient designs that, um, that were in this collab as well. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.